In this module, we're going to cover Gaia embedded features for logging and monitoring. Monitoring allows us to see what's happening on the network in addition to just traffic monitoring. We now also monitor VPN tunnels, active devices, and connections, allowing you to get more insights into what's actually happening. If you take a look at this view here, this is our current connections, gives you a brief breakdown of what those connections are, their types, and the amount of bandwidth they are consuming, and then the amount of total traffic. We've added audit logs, so this logs the administrator's activities into the system logs. If you take a look at this, you will see that through the web UI, the user admin logged in from a specific IP address, the category of that user's credentials was super admin, so that was the permission level that they had. It shows also what they did while they were in there. We've added some additional tools for monitoring system resources, being able to see the routing table, that type of thing. And also a system resources chart, giving you a time overview of what occurred. We've also added notifications for new device alerts for when a new device enters the environment. Also, if there's an infected device, it gives you information about that. And then you can actually take a look at the log entry for that infected device as far as what potential malware was infecting that client. SNMP. So to configure SNMP traps and get all the best practices, you should go ahead and check SK9855 too. You'll get all the information you need, all the overview, so you'll be able to configure the SNMP by yourself. So we're now at the logs and monitoring tab on the security log options. So here we have everything that's happening on the gateway. So here's an accepted packet. If we just take a look at that, you'll see that the action was allowed, it was outbound, what was the source IP, the destination IP, and what service was in use. If we'll go to system logs, we can see what's happening with the gateway. You can clear the logs, you can download the logs, you can do a refresh that will give you the latest updates on that. Also, we can go and take a look at these individual entries as far as what was happening. So we have a lot of DHCP options because don't forget that my device also acts as a DHCP server. And we also have external log servers. So if we had any syslog servers, for example, and we want to configure that, we'll just go ahead and select configure, select the protocol that we're gonna use, the name, IP address, the port, and what do we want to send to this server and we have the notifications tab. As far as informative events, go here to settings. This allows you to do mobile notifications for any of these activities taking place. The user will get notified on the Watchtower mobile app. So you can go ahead and configure which events you wanna be notified about. Going down to status, this lists my active devices. Right now, I have one Windows machine connected to the device. So that's the name of the Windows machine, the MAC address. I can also see which interface it's using to connect with my SMB device. If I'll go to paired mobile devices, at the moment, I don't have any, so this is empty. Fortunately, no infected devices as well, so I'm good. If I'll go to VPN tunnels, I can see that this is empty as well, because at the moment, I don't have any VPN tunnels configured. The connections tab, giving you an idea of what I have, connections for my different sources. This is my client machine. This is the gateway itself, for example. Down to monitoring, this would give you what's happening in the environment. So we can see that from the reboot that I just recently did. The website that I have got to is mostly I have unknown traffic, then I have Yahoo services, Facebook, and some analytics stuff. You can get a lot of information here, like Tom Bandwidth consuming applications, which computers, the sites, and a lot of insights about your environment and all the traffic that's being sent away. And we can see the status of infected devices as well, right here at the bottom. Any high-risk applications, system resources that are utilizing on the device. Pretty low at this point, since I only have one client. Going down to reports, this allows me to generate a report showing the current status of the gateway, giving me an overview of network analysis, infected devices, my network usage, and the top applications on the device, the top sites that we have gone to, top sites by session, the top categories, the top categories by session, so you can get all of that information in the report. These are some of the diagnostic tools. 
So we can create monitoring system resources. We can click on that. This will give you an overview of what's happening with my system. I can show the routing table on the device. I can check connectivity to cloud services. I can generate a CP info file from here. Ping, DNS lookup, packet capture, a lot of diagnostic tools. So that is a quick overview of the logs and monitoring on the left and all of the different things we can take a look at in relation to that. This concludes this module.